Well, hello there, FSG. Nice to see you again. How are you? I am good, Ox. How are you? Not too bad, thank you. Not too bad. Another beautiful day here, and I'm going to pronounce it correctly because someone in your comments said it's Ahali Farms, yes. isn't it? I'm glad you saw that because I was going to say the same thing, yes. Yeah. So Obviously got it a little bit wrong. The G is silent, I'm assuming that's Ahali. Would that be how you'd pronounce it? Yeah, I thought. I, well, somebody said Ahali with right. a K, and then somebody said Ahali as well. So yeah. we'll go We'll go with Ahali this week and see if we get c corrected All right. again. All right, but there we go. So uh, there's your English or Irish lesson for today. Um, let's get into yeah. some farming. What's the plan? So we've got quite a lot. It's the last day we can harvest crops. So we have got three fields we need to clear today. Uh, the oats that are just here behind mm -hmm. me and in front of you. And then there's a couple of wheat fields, one here and one up at the other farm. So um, I think first things first, it's uh, get into the combine and get uh, get through those crops as quickly as we can. And then... Uh, I can do a bit of mowing while you're doing that, and then we'll um, we'll bale the bale the straw up after that. Okay, yeah, sounds good. I mean, it's interesting you say three fields. They're not actually too big, are they? They're not offensively big, so why not take as long as we think? But there's still, like you say, a lot to do with the baling, and I think we're just going to sell the crop straight into the market rather than storing it because we've got nowhere to put it. We are. That's right. Yeah. Mm. Um, we kind of need we need uh, we need the cash for one thing, but mm. two. You know, we're a predominantly dairy farm, so uh, it's the straw that's more important to us for bedding yeah, and right. uh, TMR. Cool. And the grass you're going to mow, that's sort of getting ready to make some hay in the coming weeks, isn't it? That's right. That's mm. right. So, Perfect. Um, yeah, loads to do. Indeed. All right. Um, well, I might go and grab the combine out. I think this gate behind you looks much too narrow to get into, but I think there's one around the other side of the yard, around where the header is, that we can go through. There is, so we should be able to squeeze through there. So what I'll do, I'll grab the header while you grab the combine and we'll uh, get stuck in. All right, sounds good. Have fun. We'll uh, catch up with you soon. Yeah, chat you in a bit, mate. All right. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to uh, Leaf Farms here with the farm sim guy and myself. Now, as you've just heard, pretty much exactly what we're going to be doing, which is getting out there, harvesting the oats field first. And the reason we're doing the oats is because we've got two fields of wheat, one here and one down the uh, down the road a little bit further. So we figured we'd come and do this first and then we can take the oats, uh, take the wheat down in the trailer if we need to. Now, just having a look here, this is pretty tight and we need to get in and open the gate there. Uh, oh, looks like we might have clipped ourselves just very tightly on the very back on the diesel. Get that in there. I'm going to have to hop out and open the gate too. Very tight. We've always talked about these tight little yards. Oh, there we go. SG's gone and got the gate there for us. Let's get ourselves into here and uh, we'll let FSG bring the header in and we'll get things all hooked up. Alright there's FSG with the header now he's having some problems with the hitch on the uh, on the trailer being too low uh, so he couldn't actually get it in. Let's just see if we can get ourselves hooked up there that's pretty close. Perfect. Alright we'll back that out of the way. Um, he can leave that in here really because we'll take it down to the other field. I don't actually know how we get to the other field I think we come through over there on the left. I don't know if there was an access through from this side, but let's uh, jump in here. We're going to go and make a start. Just wait and see. He's getting out of the way. Right. Head on in this way. I'll just get things powered up, and we'll just get into cutting some oats. All right. Harvester unfolded. Power up the header. Let's just get turned in here and see how this all goes. Now, do we have our swath dropping turned on? We do indeed. So there we go. A nice, good swath of straw. Now there is a gate there so we'll be able to go straight through into that little wheat field. Like I said before, fields are not that large so um, it's not going to take too long to do them but at the same time the header on this combine is not that large either so we'll, uh, we'll just wait and see how it goes but I think we're just going to jump straight into this time lapse here on this field. Just have a look and the FSG might go and get the trailer I hope for us uh, and we'll just get it harvested and see what we end up with once we're done.
All right, here we go. That is uh, the first field done. Pretty darn quick. Um, you know, we said they're not big fields, they're not what we're used to, but, uh, you know, there's a decent amount of straw on that in there. That'll be a bit of fun to bail. So we're going to go and get this dumped into the back of the trailer, and then we're going to have to put the header on the back of the header trailer, and I don't think we're going to fit it through that gate. I'm just looking across there. I don't think we stand a shot of getting it through there at all. We'll go and have a look first, though. But we do need to run these oats down to one of the uh, grain merchants and go and get them sold. We'll have a look in the menu and see where the best price is. There is only two options for selling grains here. Uh, so we'll figure out which is the best. See if there's much difference or maybe go to the closest. Not that there's really that far to go for anything. But let's just head on over to this gate. Do just a little test and just double check that we're not going to fit it through. Otherwise we might have to... Uh, possibly hook it up onto the back put the combine in there then maybe back the header in or something like that let's have a look no don't stand a show in fact it's going to be pretty tight getting the combine through there right let's get this uh, trailer down to the sell point we're going to get these oats sold and then we'll figure out what we're going to do with this header so we've ended up there just under 10,000 litres so not a bad little haul off the field like we said it's not the biggest field we're not going to get the biggest incomes off these kind of things but it's going to be better than nothing now just take a quick look at the menu figure out where exactly we're going to take this so we've got two choices for grains or for oats there we've got Agley Grain Limited which is currently the highest price but going down and Agley Stores Limited which are a little bit a uh, little bit lower and let's just have a look there I think uh, this one here is the grains I think the stores must be these ones down here. No, it's the wholesalers. Sawmill. That one there, right. So we could go there, which is closer, but what we might do is actually go up and around, go and sell there, and then we can come back in the main entrance, see what FSG is doing. That's where he is mowing, so we'll be able to take a peek over the fence and what he's up to. But let's go for a drive and go and get this sold. Alright, here we are. We're going to turn into this entrance. Managed to fit in there alright. Now this Ford's the opposite of the other one. It's actually got some pretty good brakes. Milk cell point there. Um, but this in here is our grain cell point. So I think we just manoeuvre our way in here. We should get a trigger and be able to get this sold. Should bring in about four and a half grand. Of course a little bit of a bonus because we do have precision farming installed and we are running that. So we should see ourselves get a little bit of a bonus. Let's just have a look. Let's start tipping. It's just a very slow animation on it actually starting to go up. All right, there we go, four and a half thousand dollars. We didn't actually get any precision farming bonus on that. It's a little bit of a shame. I'm guessing because we hadn't actually done anything on the field. It's just fresh off the harvest. Note, don't get caught on the uh, tip there. The trailer is quite high, so we either have to be, I guess, all the way back in or tip right on the edge, just to not get caught out there as we tip that one. But here we go, four and a half grand, not bad. Right, let's carry on back down to the farm. We're going to go right out of there. Now, I did time lapse that little bit coming along the road there just to show you some of the sites of Ahalid Farms and in particular the uh, fields on the right as we were running along there. They are the first four down by the water. Those are all our fields, so we'll be down in those sometime in the not too distant future, I would imagine. But let's carry on this way. If we turn right out this here we're going to keep an eye out for those ruined buildings derelict buildings or whatever you want to call them and that's our entry down into the farm fsg should be mowing just in on the right over the fence from here we'll go and take a look we'll stop and see what he's up to just as we're going past he's making pretty short work of that field how many times has he been around it five six times around it not too bad didn't actually notice there was a gate there into it as well so that makes things a little bit easier possibly with access we can go straight in you can see him running around of course, because we're dropping it for hay, it can just be dropped as a wide swath. Didn't need to uh, get it swapped up or swathed up or use the collector on the back to merge it. Uh, he is just mowing and getting it dropped on the ground because we will go through and tid that to turn it into hay. But there we go. There he is. Good job. Right, I'm leaving to it. We'll go down and get ourselves moved into the next field. It's going to be a bit of a challenge. Right, let's get the gate open there. That swings on the way in. So my plan here for getting in got the header that way around my idea was to back the header in which means the combine is going to basically have to come into the crop and sit about there 
pick it up so that means we're going to have to just squash a little bit of this wheat which does mean probably the best way is to reverse them so we're not affecting quite as much the crop so let's give that a go come back up in here get ourselves turned around and back in from here um, I really don't see any way to get this in here and all hooked up without doing something like this so back in here a little bit pains me to run over good wheat like this but like I said I don't know what other option we had we just back this in pretty much there we should hopefully be able to back the header in right in front of it and get it hooked up and then go and start harvesting straight away so let's go and grab the header now we'll have to close the gate too once we're in there and all hooked up just to make sure that we can get all the wheat in the corner we'll jump back here into the 8210 Bring ourselves around this way and let's see if we can uh, get this all in here in one smooth fluid moment motion. I'm gonna clip that tire, no, here we go. Don't whack the uh, front of the combine. It's got a little bit too far across one side there, so back up again, have another go. Oh, as close as we can to being in the right spot. There we go, right. Let's uh, get that all hooked up now, I think that looks good. Get that hooked up, we'll pull the trailer out of the way, close the gate, and we should be off. Alright, let's get that started up, and we will start going around here on the wheat. I did say we'd close the gate, but I realised we had to uh, go forward a little bit to be able to get the gate closed. So we'll just get in here and get started. This field is going to be gone in the blink of an eye. It is not the biggest at all. Um, it's not going to take us very long. In fact, I don't even know what's going to be the best way to do it. I guess we'll just go round and round it two or three times and uh, see what we're left with when we're finished, but really not the biggest field. Probably should have left the trailer right against the edge of the hedge there on that field. We could have done that and, and we could have overloaded into the top of it, but not to worry. We should be good to get this done. FSG's probably going to be finished with the mowing soon too, which is good actually, because uh, he's going to take over and harvest the other field while we get into a little bit of baling down here with the straw. So uh, things are working out pretty well so far always of uh, working a little bit more independently, getting multiple tasks done all at the same time. Well, that's us done. I must have missed a little bit when we were doing the row when I changed it in cab, but that is the field finished. What do we end up with? Just on 6,000 litres. So that's not bad. Now it looks like FSG must have been listening to me because he's gone and put the uh, trailer just there over the fence. So I think we put the auger out. We should be able to try. Get turned in here without putting the header too deep in the hedgerow. Should be able to get this turned around and overload over the fence. Let's just see what happens here. Just see the edge of the spout. There we go, look at that, perfect. It's like I bought one, you can see it going down in the back there as well. Right, we'll jump out, go and have a chat to the man. You're not hanging around, Oaks? <laughs> There's not that much a field to do. <laughs> I'm blinking, Too down, you, want to go. blinking, you miss it, yeah. No, that was good though, good. Managed to get in here okay. A little bit of uh, manoeuvring with backing the header in and whatnot. Um, it was funny, I'd said I should have parked the trailer just over the edge of the fence and you came and moved it exactly yeah. there, so... How's the combine? Is it about the right size for the farm? Yeah, I think it's be? perfect. No, I think it's perfect. Is it? Yeah, I think it'll be good. good. So it wasn't too hard manoeuvring around or anything, just, just a bit fiddly getting through the gates. But other than that, once you're in the field, it's good. Excellent. Hmm. Oh, I would, I've finished the mowing. I'm just picking up the uh, tether. But nice. I thought I'd just come and see if you needed anything. Well, do you want to, I mean, do you want to take this down and do the last field? I mean, I can stay here and bale. Right, if you want. I can stay here and bale some straw and get these all finished off, and we can let that grass just dry out for a little bit before we hit it with the tether. Yeah, all right. No, let's do that. I'll okay. um, 
I'll give you a hand get this to get the header back off the combine and then I can bring the trailer down and I'll come back and bale the straw up and then bring the baler down to you. All right, that sounds good. Yeah, we don't need to empty that trailer now, do we? Because it's no. uh, wheat up at the top Sweet. field as well. Yeah, so. that's why we did the oats first. All right. Cool. Yeah, let's do that. All right, I'll go and grab the trailer, bring that header in here, see, uh, header trailer in. All right, cool, mate. All right, header trailer first. Pull that in there in front of FSG. That looks like about the right spot for him to come up and do that. Now, hopefully, he will remember to close the combine up, but... We'll run the header down and then we'll come back and grab the trailer and take that down because of course, as you said, wheat in the other field. That's what we're going to deal with there. Now, thank goodness for auto snapping on the header trailers because that did not look too well uh, positioned on there. But it's snapped into position and isn't moving now. And yes, he has managed to fold the combine up too. Clever man. Right. Let's see which way he goes out of here. Is he going to go and take the big road down? take the little road down here is going to go and take the little lane down so we'll follow him out a little bit of a lump here in the entrance of the field we might have to get the landscaping tooled out and uh, give that a bit of a smooth off but other than that it's not too bad until someone leaves the tractor in the way right get this down we'll get FSG set up we'll bring the trailer down for him as well and then we'll come back and do some bailing something nice about a old Ford pulling a header down a lane behind a nice looking class Takano Harvester. Just uh, there's something really nice about it. Alright, having to get a little bit creative about how we attach the header, but there we go, I think we're done. Guess you can get in there and start harvesting without damaging too much of the crop. Now, we might just see if we can back ourselves out of here. Got a hedge bashing going on, but let's see if we can get out of here and we're going to put the header trailer over the road in the front yard somewhere out of the way uh, until we need it later. So our next challenge is going to be trying to get this trailer turned in here. So I think we're going to have to hang very hard over here to the right, possibly use some of the farm entrance way to turn in and then swing in, gosh just about as late as we can, even that was too, too late. Uh, let's just have another go at that. Alright we've got turning in a little bit sooner, I think we're just going to clip the hedge just a little bit open that steering out just a touch well, not too bad actually on the side of the hedge are we just managed to clip the end of it but there we go right that is us down here in the field now we can probably in fact let's just back this around and leave it sitting here on the uh in the middle of the field but we don't want it interrupting if he's cheesy comes around and does another hidden pass so if we just get ourselves kind of backed up and we're in there okay, we'll go forward so it's under the tree get as close to the hedge as we can and uh, then we'll leave him to carry on harvesting and we'll go and get started on some bailing. Yes, for bringing that up, Ox. Hey, yeah, no worries. I think that's you all set to go now. Magic. Hmm. You have to rattle through these fields quick, don't you? Yeah, Jeez. you definitely do. You definitely cover some ground. Um, right, I'm going to go up and carry on bailing that straw. We'll get started bailing that straw. Um, once I'm done, I'll come down here and maybe leave you the baler and I'll go and do some loading or something. All right, sounds good, mate. Yeah, excellent. Well, have fun, enjoy that combine. I did. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Mm, but it's very comfortable. All right, happy bailing. Right. Yeah, see you, we'll see you soon. Cheers, bud. All right, we'll leave FSG. He's going to have some fun there getting that done. Um, he'll probably actually fill up. Watch out, we don't get covered in uh, straw there. But he'll probably happily fill that trailer up. I reckon we might have to go and unload it once. In fact, let's just have a look. Where's the best sell price for the wheat at the moment? Pretty close, but it is the Ahali grain where we went with the oats. So uh, not much difference, but of course that is actually closer to this field than the other one anyhow. So makes sense. That's where he's going to go. Like, looks like his combine's full. Leave him to it, and we'll go and get started on some bailing. So I've grabbed the T7. I figured we might as well use that. I'm going to go jump into this field. We do have a little bit of grass in here. Of course, that will change to straw once we get started. Now, I might just have a look if we can change the bale size just to make the straw just a little bit bigger. Doesn't look like we can, but what I will do while we're in here is reset the bale counter so we know how many bales we're going to do this time and uh, we will go and get things started. So we'll leave that there, get it powered up, lower that pick up, see if it will change to straw when we grab that. There we go, yes it has. And uh, get into it. Now this is hauling along 10 miles per hour, not going to take too long to get through this field. Um, it'll be interesting to see if we can actually catch up to FSG and get down to where he is before... Uh, where he gets finished on the wheat, considering we've got both of these fields to do. So we will keep an eye out and see how it all goes.
Well, that's us done here in the field. I'll have a look in just a second, see exactly how many bales we got. Now, we've got a fantastic mod. I think it's Round Bale Assistant, is what it's called, or some Round Bale Extension, or something like that. It's from, uh, I think it's Alice Mod Company, or Alice 22 Mods, or something like that. But basically, once your bale gets to 90% full, it actually slows things down, um, which is why you get the beeping. And it uh, will stop the baler automatically, stop the tractor when your baler's full. So you don't end up running further than you need to along your windrow. But let's just have a look. How many bales are there? 15? 20? 17. Right in between that, 15 and 20. So 17 straw bales, which is good. We should be able to fit those all on the trailer in one load. So we'll head on down to the other field. We'll leave this for FSG to carry on with the straw down there. We'll come back down with the trailer and try and get these loaded up. See what he was complaining about with that uh, with that tractor. Of course, we can put the bale spike on it and use that rather than having to use the grab because, of course, straw bales doesn't matter if you put a spike through them. Well, there we go. He doesn't have too much left to go, and uh, with the speed of that baler, he's going to race through getting that finished. So we'll leave the baler parked up there for him. Looks like the trailer's there. He has taken a load over. I'm um, just trying to remember how much money we had beforehand and how much he's got from it, but can't actually tell. Off that, but let's head on through this way because I'm pretty sure the case and the trailer, there it is, I can see the bale trailer, they're both sitting over here. So we will uh, head on down, grab this, head on down and go and get those straw bales loaded up. Alright, so we've gone and got ourselves the grab now. Of course, this is actually the auto load one FSG's used a lot. So I think, I'll just have a look at how this works. I haven't actually used it before, but I think if we come up here next to this and press that button, that is going to turn on our auto load. So we can grab one, I'm not sure how many it stacks up. In one go, is it two or three? It might even be three. I'm just going next to this one. Does it pick that one up too? Yes, it does. I'm going to see if we can grab a third one or not. A look. Yes, we can. So three pails at a time. And we've got 17 down here. So uh, we're going to race through this actually. Can't say I've used it. I can see why FSG enjoyed this so much on Court Farms. It uh, definitely makes this task. A whole lot easier. Let's just have a look. Yeah, put in there. I can also see what he was complaining about last week with the brakes on this thing. I will get that in about there. And uh, I can't remember. Do we just press stop auto load and it unloads it, or do we actually have to unload it manually? Here we go. Press Y, and that will open the floor up and unload it. So here we go. That's uh, that's auto load 101 here with this grab. So if you're looking for an easy way to do bales, this would certainly be it. We're going to race through and do this really quickly. So, jump into a little bit of a time lapse, and see once we're done. Alright, well that's us done. Now FSG's asking for trouble by unstrapping all of those, but there we go, he's got down and strapped those other ones up. Oh no, we're going to lose that. Oh. That was close. That was mighty close. Right, I think we'll just drop those there. And then you should be able to put a strap back over it. Right, let's go have a chat to him. Nicely done, Ox. Um, I thought I'd try that auto load bale grab, I've never used it before, I know it's uh, a very frequently used court farms attachment, but uh, I can see why I you like farm, it. Yeah. yeah, I can see yeah, why you like good, it. Isn't it. It just takes takes some of the, well, it, it, the vertical stacking takes mm. that out of the equation, so you, yeah, you've got a bit more control. I can see what you mean How about the, the brakes, <laughs> they're terrible, they're terrible. <laughs> 
put your foot I think down. I might be going to the mechanics workshop in the next yeah, week uh, saying, and having a little bit of an XML tweak. That's right, that's right. Either that or it's uh, going to get driven into a river somewhere and left there. <laughs> One or the other. Right, um, Very but, good. do you want to get that other field bailed up? Yeah, I was just dropping the, uh, I just finished tipping the grain and brought the trailer nice. back here and I thought I'd see, see how you're getting on, but yeah, no, let's go and do the other field. Yeah, cool. Um, I might just use the telehandler up there for loading, just use the grab, probably keep up with you yeah. while you're bailing pretty quick, so. Cool, All right. I'll see you up there. Oh, well, in fact, All right, mate. I'll, see you up there. I'll bum a ride with you actually, do you want to just park in the yard, I'll jump in the case with you and leave the Ford up here. Yeah, the Ford's, yeah, I've parked it away anyway, so yeah, let's yeah. do that. Alright, you go and uh, just head into the yard, I'll go put this one away. Alright, cool. Alright, we might just park this over here, and uh, yeah, like I said, we do have... Gosh, those brakes are terrible. Alright, we'll leave that there. We do have the passenger mod here on the, uh, on the case, so we should be able to come over here, and I think... Here we go, we're sitting in the cab with FSG. Comfy arcs. It's a little cosy, isn't it? We needed a bigger cab. <laughs> yeah, it's not a big tractor, this, is it? No, it's not, but isn't it nice having the passenger mod? We've always talked about using it, but uh, never really had the chance. It is. No. Yeah. Makes total sense on a multiplayer server to be able to give each other a lift around the place if we can. Yeah, it does. So what do we end up making out of those crops? About 10 grand, was it? 11. 11 overall. Yeah, yeah, yeah 23,000 23, and a bit when we started. Right. And, uh, yeah, that's us on... 34 now, 34,600. Yeah, nice. nice, now remember you've got a big tall stack of bales on the back there, don't go too fast around the corners. Yeah, I was uh, just thinking that. <laughs> uh, so you like that stacker, do you like that uh, bale grab? It's good, isn't it? Yeah, it is good. I can see I can see it has its purposes. I'm a, still a purist when it comes to my bale stacking, but... Um, I know you are. I can, I can see why people, including yourself, would find it so attractive to use. Oh, am I going to make this? I don't know, I'm not going to judge you though. Yes! Well done. Just. Nicely done. In cap 2. Indeed, next challenge. Can you do it into the field down here? Because this one was pretty tight as well. It was quite tight, wasn't it? I think you need to kind of hug the right hand side. Did you have issues with the trailer tipping into the cell point as well? Uh, yes, I had to make sure I reversed far enough back that it didn't get caught on the roof. Yeah, either far enough back or just just on the edge. Yep. And found that out the hard way. Like you said last time, you can see why there's lots of farms with dents and dings and scratches around. Yeah. Definitely. Look at that. You're a pro. And not my first rodeo, Ugs. Good job. Good job. All right. Corf started six months on court farms has uh, <laughs> set me up nicely. All right. Well, nicely done. I'll leave you to go bailing and I'll go and grab the uh, tally handler. All right, mate. Have fun. See you in a bit. Enjoy. Cheers. Well, there we go. Isn't that nice being able to uh, have a chat while we're driving down down the farm, between farms, to uh, carry on our work. Right, let's go and grab the tally handler. I enjoyed this last week. This tally handler was a lot of fun. Worked really well. Uh, it was very, very easy to manoeuvre. was perfectly sized for the space. Not quite perfectly sized for that opening in that shed, but it worked really well. So we'll grab it, we'll head on over and go and get the rest of the bales stacked up as and when the PSG gets them made.
All right, well, there we go. That's the uh, straw all bailed up. That was pretty quick. That is a serious day's work, Cox. We've, uh, yeah, we've smashed it out, really, haven't we? With three fields harvested, all the bales baled and collected. It's uh, It's been fantastic. Plus the grass field, Mike, yep. too. That's right. That's right. That's sitting there ready to be tedded and uh, windrowed and picked up next time as well. So, yeah, perfect. Perfect job for next time. Great progress. Hmm, absolutely. Um, well, I suppose, well, apart from the fact we have to unload this trailer, which we can do afterwards, that's probably a good spot to tidy things up and finish up for today. That's right. Yep. No, I think that uh, is a good time to stop it. Hmm. Really good. Enjoyed that a lot, Args. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a whole different... Uh, feel for me and obviously for you as well because we kind of cross paths and see each other and then interact and that but we're kind of doing our own little thing at the same time yeah it's right. cool and we like we said at the start you know it's it makes it's more beneficial for the watchers as well because they can watch two very different perspectives of the same map at the same time yeah absolutely yeah very much so very good well uh yeah nice job i don't know um what will be happening next week i'm away so uh but we did say that if you wanted to jump in and get some work done it's kind of an easy map to get in and do something on your own if you need to it is yeah it is you can get a few little jobs out of the way and hmm. uh, tidy things up for the next time you're yeah. back so we'll see i'll see how the week pans out but yeah. uh, that's good to know yeah cool mate all right well otherwise we'll see you in a fortnight yeah nice one Alex. have a good one. cool you too and we'll catch you again soon cheers mate bye bye yeah bye well, there we are, we've got 145,000 litres of straw on the back of this, plus the four bales I've taken over already, six maybe, four I think. Um, so that's a decent amount of straw coming out of these three fields. Not going to run out of that for making TMR or anything anytime soon. In fact, kind of actually at the point where maybe we should consider selling some. We're not using straw in for bedding or anything like that for the cattle, but that's something to worry about for the future or well, for now we will just get this all unloaded and put away in the shed and uh, we can make some decisions around that there you go there's the field in front of us fsg did a great job mowing that doesn't look good it looks really good we talked about the colors and everything last time but uh just such a beautiful beautiful look there with that mowing texture and uh sort of lighter color underneath anyhow we're going to spend a couple of minutes, we'll get this all unloaded and uh, put away in the shed. But for us, that is us all done for another episode. As always, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.